The federal government is looking at putting on extra chartered flights for Australians unable to get out of Egypt by the usual means. More than 1,200 Australians have registered with the embassy in Cairo, outstripping the expected demand. About 400 have already secured seats on a Qantas 747 due to leave tomorrow our time. The race is on to get to Cairo's airport. The only problem is how to get there. Ordinary life has stopped in Egypt, and as Australians there are discovering, getting from one place to another is proving dangerous and difficult. Well, we've gone to the airport a few times. It's impossible to get out, sort of five hours minimum to just get in queue. We've tried catching domestic flights. They've been cancelled as well, so it's, it's hell. These two Aussie mates saw the chaos unfold right outside their inner city hotel. Having gunshots in the street and people screaming and wailing and uh, the sort of looters going around with clubs, barbed wire wrapped around them. Fellow Aussie Waleed Nasser is witnessing the same scenes. We, it was like a war zone. We basically um, had pepper spray. I had my daughters and my wife, obviously, at tear gas. Sorry, th um, the, the, the tanks were literally driving around in the streets and just shooting at people. Waleed and his family are booked on tomorrow's chartered Qantas flight. But the there's course. a hitch. He is in Alexandria, almost 230 kilometres from Cairo. From there, he says there are no buses, no trains, and take a taxi at your own peril. It's, it's just filthy what the Australian government has done. I've got so much to say when I get back to Australia, if I get out of this, because I cannot believe the fact that they are not prepared. America, Turkey, to, um, Saudi Arabia, all of the Arab states, Asian states, Asian countries, Pakistan, India, are, set, are, are taking people from all around the place and taking them to their country. Australia's decided to send us a Qantas jet in Cairo and dumping them in either uh, Germany or uh, England. And then they said, you're on your own. I mean, I, I, I cannot believe that Australia's doing this. It's a point the opposition has also acknowledged. Before this announcement was made by the Prime Minister yesterday, you already had announcements by the United States, Canada, um, India, the Philippines, Turkey, uh, and now Indonesia, uh, that they were putting in place such arrangements for the evacuation of their nationals. Anthony Morehouse heads Dynamic, specialists in personal security. He says Australians do expect a lot from their government. The Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade has, has put on the aircraft. That was the right thing to do. Uh, and in the scheme of things, 24 hours shouldn't make that much difference. But I fully appreciate it wouldn't feel like that to those stranded over there at the moment. The first of what could be many chartered flights will leave the UK for Cairo tomorrow night. For some, that can't come soon enough. Peter Jane Madam, World News Australia.